So many times we wonder, where did I get this thought? Why do I have this desire? Just like the air carries the aroma from place to place, Krishna says that similarly, the embodied soul is carrying the mind and the senses along from one body to another. So these desires, these struggles that we are having is something we've been struggling for lifetimes. But we can actually overcome them the moment we decide to become aware of what we are, where we are at and where we would like to go. So what happens is we get a certain body, but in that body we are carrying the same mentality, the same challenges that we have cultivated in the previous life. So these samskaras, desires gets mixed with our karma and we get a different situation, but the similar emotions remain. Just like you can see in this picture here, there was this lady who had a very strong desire to have riches and wealth. And she thought I would do anything to get rich and wealthy. So she passes on to the next life. So when she gets the next body, she did get different circumstances in life. She did get a rich and wealthy husband, but she still remains regretful. She still remained very unsatisfied because what carried from one body to another was that consciousness of lamentation and regret. So if we do not work through a certain lamentation we have, we will end up being regretful. But if we process that lamentation, if we work on it in a sattva guna manner, then we can destroy all the negativities and move to next year, next week, next life with more positivity. Whatever activity we do that carries an emotion of lamentation, it can lead us to an emotion of regret. If we carry an emotion of hankering, that will lead us to hatred. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Icha dvesha samuttena dvandva mohena bharata. So both desire and hatred are basically the different faces of the same coin. So the more desire there is, there is also hatred there. So if we can work on our own hankerings and resolve them, solve them, process them, then we don't have to carry the same baggage over and over and over again. We may often think that if only I had this, then I would be happier. No, but actually that happiness is not related to what we think we want, but it is independent in itself. And also we try to run after happiness, but happiness is not a product. It is actually a process. So we can practice happiness from any moment that we want.